Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and today I want to give you an update on the EVLink cast and the EVLink web functionality. And this is something that you get if you subscribe to the EVLink advanced plan, which is a paid uh, functionality, basically a paid upgrade to your free EVLink account, which gives you, well, um, as part of it, uh, the EVLink cast and the EVLink web. Uh, feature, but it also gives you uh, quite a few other details and uh, um, advanced capability in the EVLink application to be able to handle more homes and more devices. Uh, but today I want to talk about the cast and this web and what has been new in this. And I did cover some of the other things in my other videos. So this is how the um, the UI or this cast functionality look like. So again, if you don't remember what cast is, this is basically just a web page, but uh, you can put this web page on like a mobile device or a laptop or a tablet, and then you would be able to use it as a dashboard. So if I change views, you can see how it looks like on my uh, iPad. Well, sorry for the ring light, but basically you have a screen where you are able to control your devices and then you can just view them in a nice uh, dashboard and you can see the devices and you're also getting some widgets and for some reason one of my devices not appearing there here for a moment but uh, yeah that's the thing so you can get uh, you can use an old you know tablet or an old phone or maybe an old ipad and then display this information i mean after all this is just a web page and the new functionality that is is added is well Beside all the visuals, let me just switch back, there are two new ZigBee devices. There is a new ZigBee temperature and humidity sensor. There is also a new ZigBee button. And probably there are some new devices that are coming out. And I haven't did a review on these ones, so this is something that I need to do. But now they are supported in the cast and the web feature as well. So if I go back to the, uh, to the web feature and if I go to the cast screen, now you can see that for example one of the big changes that you can do is obviously you can move the things around but then you can also make uh, in uh, make them make them bigger because let's say i have this 4ch pro if i want to control this i have to click on it and then it comes up in a separate screen so this is how i can switch the different channels but for example i can expand this so i can see this um, expanded of course there are some devices where it doesn't make sense to expand but pretty much everything which has like multi inputs you can make the the widget bigger and then of course you can rearrange some of your other ties to make better use of the space so for example i'm going to move my uh, temperature history here oops and then the pow there so this is how you can move the things around and of course if you can also rearrange and change your uh, um, what is it calendar and your uh, uh, temperature or weather widget so maybe I can move this around and I can make a little bit more space for these and I'm going to leave the 4CH not expanded okay we lost a little bit of space here probably I can put more um, scene triggers here but that's the idea this is how you can rearrange and of course I don't think I would be able to show you more devices here because as I said I haven't added my newest uh, sorry my newest devices to uh, to the evening so my evening account but they will be available here and just before you can select manual scenes you can add the charts so uh, the various power consumption devices are supported so this is how this is my POWR2 humidity and temperature sensors and in the settings we will still have the same thing so you can now add a clock as well if you want to so now the clock is done here again you can make it bigger you can make it smaller and then the weather the calendar and then you also can now change the background so if i want a green background maybe you have multiple um, screens then you can just give them a different account and the pin code that's same as what we had before okay so these are the changes and if I save them and of course don't forget to click on save at the end okay so now I save this if I go back to it it notices that something has changed and now it uh, loads the the new interface so at least you, uh, at least you can see now that it is much easier for me to control the multi king devices I don't have to open them and my calendar and the uh, and the weather forecast is now smaller 
and yeah, I have a clock as well. And that's how the POW um, uh, looks like. So it shows you what the consumption is on the various days and, you know, today and this month. But this is something that we had in the past, so that's, that's working fine. And that would be a temperature and the humidity log for a temperature and humidity sensor, but uh, it is not connected because I'm playing around with it. But you can see the placeholder for it. And also you could see how the, um, you know, how it would look like in this mock-up now. And the background changed to green as well. And to be honest, I'm not really spending a lot of time on my uh, web um, interface, but that's the, uh, basically just a control interface uh, for, uh, for a web page. And that again, you can customize. You can see that here's a different look and feel. You get some new, sorry, more functionality here for some of the devices, it, but it still it shows all my devices that are available in my EV-Link account, but some of them are not yet supported in the, um, in, the, in the web version. But I would say probably this is like an older version. I think the, I probably, I, 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 to be honest, I prefer this look, the cast look. I think it's more refined. Um, easier to use it it doesn't feel that cluttered but again if you just want to have access to everything you can have it here you have access to the scenes as well so again an easy control of your account and your devices over your computer if you don't want to use your phone but that would be all about the update for the EV link web and the EV link cast uh, I'm going to leave links to all of these and the link how you can uh, subscribe to the advanced plan, which is still about 10 bucks a year in the video description. But that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you next video.